Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Fella channel. Um, here today with a, another book review. Uh, today's book review is... It's called Reading at War, 1939-45. to That's written by David Bilton. <clears throat> Published by Pen and Sword Books. And available in the UK for £15.99. Um, it's also part of the Your Towns and Cities in World War II series. So you'll find that Pen and Sword have published a variety of, a variety of books that um, cover various towns and cities all around the UK. And the book, each book looks at that individual town and how they coped and how they dealt with the wartime experience back at home. Um, they're all written by kind of leading authors and authorities on the home front. Um, I've got um, there's Craig Armstrong, Kevin Turton, Christopher Owen, this one here David Bilton and then there's Graham Sutherland. Each author takes a particular town, usually one that um, they're familiar with or where they come from or if it's in the area where they live. So, and these are all uh, academic uh, writers, um, teachers, professors, that sort of thing. And so you know that by getting <coughs> these particular books, they're well researched, detailed and the writing in them is excellent. Um, basically, each book, um, each chapter revolves a year of the war, and it looks at that city during around the home front during the war, rather than um, rather than it looking at what happens militarily and what's happening out in Europe or the Far East. It covers mainly what's happening on the home front in the, in the UK. So you're not going to get anecdotes of the fighting or the soldiers or the airmen, things like that. This is all about the people on the home front and what the wives, families, children, and also the men that were, were working in civilian jobs, what they had to deal with living back in this country or and in those cities. Um, they're, they're excellent books. I I fully recommend them, and they're my one of my favourite um historical series that uh, published by Pen and Sword Books. But they're hard, so, soft cover books, as you can see. But there's plenty there's plenty of text, pictures, and adverts that you often find newspaper adverts and things like that there's one specific one there but I mean I personally like them because they're like local news whereas you know usually you hear about the war and all you hear about is how it affects the fighting but obviously these ones are the um, stories and the happenings of back home in the UK during the Second World War. Each chapter involves a year, like I said, covers all sorts of topics, subjects, from pets to hygiene, how the local police force or the fire service worked. There's um, a lot about rationing, uh, the recruitment of young men to the various regiments. And all in all, if you want a book about the home front, this series is fantastic. As I say, this one's fifteen ninety nine, and this particular book is 246 pages. This is one of the big, uh, larger ones. Um, I've got a couple more here to show you as an example. In that we've got Warwick 
bit worn. They're all soft covers, but they're a decent size and a good read. And then we've got Northamptonshire. That's a slightly thinner book, but that one particularly concentrates more on the um, the army because obviously every local town or city has different influences to it. So I can I can fully recommend these, and I'll put links down below if you're interested. Um, thank you for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And there'll be more books being reviewed for you. Um, if you want to um, contact me on Twitter or Instagram, you can at The History Fella. Or you can visit my website at the UK, UK historian bendavidson.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.